Hello, hello, my name is Siobhan Annette. I am the FIRE Leadership Coach, and I'm so excited about the privilege and honor to talk to you today, to serve you as a transformational speaker. I literally am on a mission to help people break fear, build faith, and lead confidently. And I do that with the focus of helping individuals not to just survive, but thrive in life leadership in business. So again, my name is Siobhan Annette, and I am speaking to you on the topic of the limitless potential of a leader. Not smart enough, not good enough, not pretty enough, not talented enough, not creative enough. These were all the things that I once said about myself, the things that were literally limiting me from being the leader. I knew I had the capability of being and the reason why they were limiting me was because of the simple fact that they were the thoughts that were impeding my progress. Miles Monroe has this amazing quote. Of course, he was an amazing and an incredible leader. He has this quote that he says, the fact that you are alive today is an indication that you have something the world needs. Yes, you. Potential, what I found out in reading a book by Miles Monroe, is literally that dormant ability, that untapped potential. Potential is literally what is there and available, but it's not being accessed currently. So as a leader, you have the potential to do great and incredible things simply by tapping into what has been made available to you by the creator, God himself. So I like to think of it with an analogy of a seed. Everything that is created or everything that we know grows comes from a seed form. The plants that we see, the trees that we see, even the human beings that we are today once started off as something as small as a seed. Two beautiful things came together and they over time created what would turn into a baby that would be birthed out into the world and now has this unlimited or limitless potential. We all have a starting phase. They often say, look, if you just appreciate and you focus on developing that small thing, that small business, that small organization, if you work and focus in on building something that small, you will get to see it matriculate, grow and mature into something so great and wonderful. So you may be a leader who is just starting all out, or maybe you're that leader who literally is doing great, but you know greater is still available for you. I want to let you know that you're right. And the truth of the matter is this can only be understood if you understand that you truly have limitless potential. One thing that God showed me, he told me, he said, Siobhan, you must understand that literally who you admire in the world, who you look up to, who you listen to their podcasts, who you watch on YouTube or on television, you have the same potential to step into that place if you focus in on being the best at what it is I've created and ordained for you to do and become. So as this leader, understanding this limitless potential, I want to take it a little bit further for you because I want to take you to three elements that literally allowed me to show up better and to continue to grow and mature as a leader to make optimal impact in the world. So I want to start with breaking fear. Breaking fear was literally the thing that I had to deal with. There was the fear of rejection, the fear of abandonment, the fear of failure, the fear of success. All of these different type of fears were the fears that I literally had to allow the layers to be pulled off of me over time. And so the person that I want to give you an example of today, who was a fearless leader of the Bible was David. 
<laughs> David literally decided that he was not going to let this Goliath that was intimidating the warriors who were already on post to stand there and cause fear and cause them to really lay down and accept defeat. David of the Bible was the unexpected leader. So although you may be a leader with limitless potential, you may deny what's on the inside of you simply because you feel like people don't see what's really in you. But let me tell you who does see you. God sees you. So it's time for you to arise and be fearless and go after and do what it is that has literally been pulling on you. You've been feeling this pull to go for it. You've been feeling this pull to do it. I want to encourage you to do it simply because God sees your potential. David had a choice to make. He had a choice. Although he wasn't seen, although he was in the background as a shepherd boy, he had a choice to make. When there was a problem that needed to be solved, Guess what? You're a solution to a problem. When there was a problem that needed to be solved, David made that decision. He made that choice because he knew the God with him. God is with you on this journey as a leader. And it is up to you to make the choice to partner with him and solve any problem that he's shown you needs to be solved with your business, with your book, with your organization, with your nonprofit, whatever it is that it may be. Because guess what? Your potential is unlimited. So break the fear. One way that I decided to break fear in my life that I'll give you as a tip and a tool is affirmations. Remember, your mindset determines how you show up in the world. So you make that decision and that choice to affirm yourself that you are valuable, that you are powerful, that you are creative, that you are intelligent, that you literally have ideas that can help change and impact lives. That mindset shift that you choose to walk in literally will break down those thoughts of fear that are impeding your progress in this season and in this time. So break the fear. That's step one. Step two is literally to build your faith. Well, what I do to build my faith is prayer, worship, study of the word, because my faith is the foundation of every single thing that I do. See, without God, it would not be possible for me to show up boldly, confidently and courageously. And what I found is there are people who struggle with confidence. There are people who struggle with being bold. There are people who struggle with being courageous. If that's you, that's going to limit you as a leader. But as you build your faith, you are able to tap into the boldness that's really in you, the confidence that's really in you, and the courage that's really in you. And so who do I have in the Bible that is a beautiful example of someone who used prayer who use fasting to literally show up and tap into the potential for them to be the leader that they needed to be at a specific moment in time? Esther. Esther is that beautiful example in our world today. Esther literally prayed and she fasted and she said, God, I will go before the king unsummoned. It's risky. As a leader, you have to make risky decisions. But Esther made that decision, not just for herself, not just for her family, but for a nation of people that literally had the potential to be destroyed if she had not taken her place as a leader, taken her place as someone God had appointed for a time such as this. See, you must understand and you must build your faith in the God that you serve. That literally when you step on the scene, you have the power and the potential to save another life. I like to say the transformation that took place in my life, I positioned myself to not let it just be for me, 
but to open my mouth, to create, to build, to establish so that other people could also go through their own transformation and be that same person for someone else. I created a talk show. I became a certified leadership and life coach. I started a podcast. I opened my mouth and became a transformational speaker. Why? Because like Esther, I believe that what God was building in me was bigger than me. I had the potential to reach lives and impact lives that would literally change the foundation of our world. There are people that you look at that have changed your life thus have changed the world. And as a leader, you have the potential to impact lives, whether you ever meet them face to face or they just hear your voice or listen to your story. You have limitless potential to impact and change this world. So we have to break the fear and we have to build faith through prayer, worship, the word and fasting so that we can build, create, and develop what we need to create and develop in the world. No one has ever done anything exceptional without the faith that it was possible. So take the time and build your faith through those tools. And the final thing that I want to leave with you all today that is absolutely essential is lead confidently. I mentioned confidence a little in the building of the faith piece, but leading confidently is so essential. The potential that you have to make impact in this world, that limitless potential will only come from you being willing to lead, but not lead bashfully, not lead timidly, not lead fearfully, but leading confidently. Confident knowing that you too can do something exceptional, incredible, and extraordinary. So I have two people in mind that really speak to the need to be confident because the reality is we won't move without confidence. We won't lead well without the confidence. And so there are two people that I want to mention. The first is Jeremiah. Jeremiah was called by God to be a young prophet to the nations. Jeremiah was terrified. Jeremiah felt like he did not measure up. He was just too young, too young, too inexperienced, did not have the knowledge and the capability to be a prophet to the nations. But God said, I've called you before you were in your mother's womb. I knew you and I called you to be a lead leader. I called you to release my word into the earth. I want to let you know that you're not too young for some of you. You're not too inexperienced. Everything that you need is available to you if you would just be willing to go. And then the next person, before I go even further into that thought, is Moses. Moses was a little bit older. Moses grew up not as a Jew, but he was called to deliver the Jews out of Egyptian slavery. I'm sure Moses felt like I'm not the one for the job. You can choose another elder or another leader that's already in position, but no, God was choosing Moses as an emerging leader of the time to deliver the people of God who had been praying out of bondage and slavery. There are some people who are bound, some people who are captive in mindsets, in patterns, in cycles that will not create, build, or establish if you do not choose to lead confidently. Moses even thought, I don't have the voice to do it. I don't speak well enough. I'm not eloquent enough. But God says, I am with you, I am for you, and I will even send someone to be by your side, but yet, and understand that you are indeed the one for the job. So, what are the tools that are available to you 
You know we have God, right? That's who I am, the fire leadership coach who literally uh, strengthens and builds and helps leaders to emerge through both spiritual and practical means. Let's get practical. Practical podcasts, books, YouTube videos, sermons. These are all tools that are available to you. Conferences, summits even, are available to you today to literally allow you to get the knowledge that you feel like you might lack, like Jeremiah, to connect you with the right people who you feel like you might need, like Moses. You're not too young. You're not too old. You are not incapable. But it is up to you to utilize the resources that are available and are offered all around the world to equip you to fulfill the capacity of that limitless potential that's dormant, that's laying there, that's untapped and unused. But you have the potential and the capability to do it for the world. So I want to encourage you today to tap into your limitless potential as a leader. Break that fear. Use those self-affirmations. Build your faith. Pray. Read the word. Study the Bible fast. And then also lead confidently. Know that you're not too young. Understand that you're not too old. Know that there are tools, there are resources, there are coaches, there are mentors, there are summit hosts and conference hosts that are out there and available, books even, podcasts, YouTube series, available for you to learn, to grow, to mature, to sharpen what it is that you need to sharpen, to be who it is that you have the potential to be, to help transfer some transform someone else's life to change someone else's world to impact culture for the glory and the honor of god you are who you are and you are yet becoming who you need to become to be the leader that is absolutely needed and necessary in today's world if you have to be david the unexpected leader if you have to be Esther that is in the right place at the right time, or you have to be the Jeremiah that is seemingly too old or the too young or Moses that is seemingly too old or does not have the speech and needs someone to walk a lot alongside them in their journey. Let me tell you, it is still possible for you. I want to encourage you today. Going back to that quote by Miles Monroe, the fact that you are alive today is an indication that you have something that the world needs. Tap in, go for it. The world is waiting on you. And just like I've made a decision to open my mouth, to build, to create, and to develop, and to become what only God knows that I can become. I want to encourage you to do the exact same thing today. You are a leader with limitless potential. Make the choice, make the decision to go for it. Believe, have faith, and know all things are possible to those who believe. God bless you.